families. Welcome to another episode of Houston Humane Society's Virtual Companion Camp. I have a really great episode for you guys today and we're going to meet two of Houston Humane Society's mascots. Let's check them out. So I have my assistant camper Maya here to help me out and here are our two mascots that we're going to meet. So these guys are ready to go out. We have, our, as you can see, a donkey and a horse. All right, there you go. Let's take these guys on a walk. So we're out here at the Houston Humane Society. What a beautiful day it is. You got the windmill going, our little pond over there. These are beautiful animals and they live here at the Houston Humane Society. He's walking great. A 28 year old horse which is really old for horses because um, their normal lifespan is about 25 years so he is a senior and he's over there munching on grass he's a really uh, friendly gentle guy and horses actually can be even used as therapy animals because they're so attuned to people's emotions and they are very intelligent um, they can be taught all types of uh, puzzles and tricks and he just loves to hang out be brushed he was rescued in um, 2017 and when he came to us he was so thin and skinny and sick that we weren't even sure that he was going to survive but um, with all the care that he got from the Houston Humane Society. You can see now he's a really healthy guy and he is a senior horsey. But what's interesting is just like, you know, dogs or people, hair turns gray. But you can see Larry over here just looks as young as could be. He looks shiny coat. He's a very beautiful guy. And how old is Larry? He's 28. 28, wow. Yeah. And what does Larry like to eat besides grass here? <laughs> yes, horses can eat grains, uh, even, you know, carrots as treats, oats. They are um, herbivores, so they only eat vegetables and grass. Is it safe to feed Larry with your hand? Yeah, definitely. I can show you guys right now. Let me pick some grass. Yep, there he goes. He just ate. Yeah, they just pick up the food with their lips and it's uh, it's not dangerous at all to feed them. They're really gentle and they're really attuned to people too. And I hear Larry has a friend. Yes, he does. So horses, they like to be in herds. They are a herd animal, whereas donkeys, like to be in just groups of two to three. So let's go meet him. Here, I'm gonna take him off his lead and let's go meet our next friend, Juan. Juan the donkey. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this is Juan. And he was rescued in 2016 from Acres Homes. He was with 
seven other horses in a cruelty case. He was also brought to us because uh, he was so skinny, sick. You could see all of his ribs sticking out. His belly was completely flat. You could see his ribs, his hip bones, but you can see him now. He's a, got a big round belly and he's looking really healthy. Um, he still has his winter coat, but Larry over there, he shed his winter coat. So his hair is looking um, shiny and short, but Juan over here still has the longer furry hair. And there's Maya feeding him. He's got a mouthful, as you guys can see. But um, donkeys are really intelligent guys. Um, they can remember places that they've been and other donkeys up to 25 years ago. So they have amazing memories. And um, despite popular belief, they're really intelligent, um, just like horses. Juan over here, he came to us when he was 10 years old and he's 14 now. So um, donkeys can live well over 50 years. So he still has a lot of life left in him. As for Larry, our horse is a senior. He, um, our donkey Juan is still a young guy. <laughs> and if you saw our episode on mini horses, all four of these guys live here at Houston Humane Society together and they enjoy each other's company. They get to, you know, hang out with each other all day. And can you oh. brush donkeys? Yeah, I got my brush right here. And um, I'm gonna brush little Juan, our buddy. And how often should you brush donkeys and yeah. horses? That's a good uh, question. So they should be brushed pretty often, especially in the winter when they have a longer coat. And this is considered a long coat right now? Yes. And even you can see his, this is long for a donkey's mane. And we could actually um, give him a little trim if we wanted to because his hair is pretty long. Oh, so Juan's going to get a spring cut here soon. Yes, he is. But yeah, they will shed um, all of their extra hair. You can see just like a dog would need um, their hair brushed uh, to avoid any matting or tangles. To get the extra dust off because they do lay down they can lay down or stand up but um this will just get all the extra extra hair off of him and the extra dirt and, and can you ride donkeys is that something you would recommend uh no i wouldn't recommend it donkeys are typically used um to carry things and actually if there was a horse about Juan's size the donkey would be stronger than the horse. So they can pull things, they can carry um, really heavy weights and that's what they're typically used for. Um, you could ride them, but it wouldn't be recommended. It's not like riding a horse. And you can see these animals at Houston Humane Society if you're a kid watching and want to meet them, brush them, hang out with them. Think about coming to one of our um, companion camps in the summer, spring, or winter, and we take them out every week for our campers to see. So it's a really amazing opportunity to see these really friendly guys. They're super mellow, super relaxed. All right. Here's our buddy, Juan. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Remember that Houston Humane Society, we're still open and by appointment only. If you're wanting to adopt or foster, now is a great time now that we're um, stuck at home. And right now we still have the special going on where you can take home an animal for only $25. Um, thanks to Bissell's Pet Foundation. So think about coming out to Houston Humane Society, adopting one of our animals. We still have um, animals up for adoption from a cruelty seizure. Remember where we took, home, uh, took here 222 animals from one person's house. 
So a lot of those animals are coming up for adoption and if you want to save an animal, think about adopting one of those guys. Okay, you guys, so um, tune in this Monday where we're going to be reading to our animals. Um, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.